Tatsumi Hijikata was a Japanese choreographer whose work shaped post-World War II Japan. He developed the form of dance entitled Buto, or the Dance of Utter Darkness. Tatsumi Hijikata was born on March 9, 1928, as the tenth in a family of 11 children. He was born in the Akita region of northern Japan and with the original name of Yonoyama Kiyono. Inspired by dance, he went back and forth to Tokyo before moving there permanently in 1952 and studying at the Mitsuko Ando studio. It is said during, his time, during this time, Tatsumi resulted to petty theft and burglary in order to support himself while working various other blue collar jobs. Always in opposition of the norm, Tatsumi also had an extremely pronounced regional dialect, which made him somewhat of an outcast in Tokyo. This resulted in Hijikata turning to literature, and most strongly identified with the French writer Jean Genet. The post-World War II Japan was a period of identity crisis. Painted as a militarist nation, many Japanese felt demasculinized and inferior. There was also an insurgence of vast westernization, which delighted some but was the distaste of many others. Tatsumi Hijikata possessed a great interest in the abandonment of the normal. He loved death, pondering its vastness almost every day. He had an obsession with deformity, specifically that of polio victims. This is present through his dance with a hunched posture, bow legs, and feet firmly planted on the floor. Inspiration for this movement also came from the malnourished children in his hometown. Hijikata once said, when I begin to wish I were crippled, even though I am perfectly healthy, or rather that I would have been better off born a cripple, that is the first step towards Buto. Hijikata attempted to create a dance for Japanese identity. All dance at this time period, he said, was either a modernization of no or an application of Western techniques. Inspired by the writings of Gene and several studies of the dance style titled Neue Tanz from Germany, Hijikata developed Buto, which focused on drawing energy up out of the earth rather than unrootingly reaching towards the heavens, such as many Western styles of dance. The first Buto performance was in 1959 at the All Japan Dance Festival. The performance was entitled Kinjiki, or Forbidden Colors in English. This performance was meant to shock audiences. It stylistically depicted homosexuality and bestiality, even suffocating a live chicken between one's legs on the stage. Buto has had a lasting impact not only on Japan, but also on the world stage. Buto was created as an art form of summoning Earth's energy. The world's dance started from standing, said Hijikata, but mine started from not being able to stand. Buto is formed at the crux of the conscious and the subconscious. Hijikata also once stated, I keep one of my sisters alive in my body when I'm creating a Buto piece. She tears off the darkness in my body and eats more than is necessary of it. When I stand up, I sit down compulsively. Surrealist techniques are used so that every moment, no matter the size, is authentic. Buto has grown and is respected in a fully implemented art. Buto techniques have been used in film and photography, many of these being in Japan's erotic grotesque horror category. Buto has split into two categories, choreographed and improvised Buto. Even the most highly choreographed pieces still come from a place of authenticity through the movement because of the strong connection to the earth and the bridge of the conscious and the subconscious. In the 1970s, Buto encountered the rest of the world, and this influence of both Japanese and non-Japanese people has brought it to full fruition. The utter darkness is, exists throughout the world, said Hijikata. To think is the dark. Today, the most well-known Buto group is Sankai Juko, which is based in Paris. Buto today is popular among dancers, theater practitioners, dance therapists, children, and those from all walks of life. Many are drawn to its intense dramatic qualities, however others to experience the journey of freeing the subconscious. Buto offers a transformational healing, and it is freeing to throw away the structure of what is acceptable in society of, as a body movement. 
All of this is thanks to the work of Tatsuni Hijikata, who remains an inspiration to dancers, theater artists, and aspires to free expression throughout the entire world.